Today, I have this puzzle for you guys, and this question is from the Berkeley Math Tournament, but the mini version because it's for middle school students. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Alright, so let me explain the puzzle real quick. When it says A across, it means that we take A, right, and if we go across, the number has to satisfy this condition. And the last little number here, it means that we have to have three digits. And then similarly, if we see A down, that means we start with A and you go down, we have to have a number that satisfies this condition and three digits. And you might be wondering, why did they tell us the digits? Well, because in the harder situation, you don't need to use all the boxes. So that makes it even more difficult. But anyway, I'll pause the video and try to finish this. All right, now let's go over this. This is how I will do it. First, if you look at A across, it says number with only even digits and in strictly decreasing order. So that means I can have either like 8, 6, 2, this is a possibility, or 8, 4, 0, also a possibility. But in fact, I cannot have 8 to start off with. Because if I put an 8 right here, by 8 down, it says that we have to have a number with consecutive digits in ascending order meaning it has to go up. If we have 8 here, that means we must have what? 9 and then 10. That doesn't make sense. I can only have a digit in a box. So that means our first box in A, it must be at most 6. So it can be 6, 4, 2, or maybe 6, 2, 0, and maybe... Yeah, that's about all. <laughs> and now let's take a look at C down. He says it's a prime number greater than 10. Can I put a 4 here? No, not possible because I have to make sure this number is in descending order. So thanks to C down, I know this right here must be 2. And then that means this right here must be 4. Good. Now, earlier we mentioned it A down. A down, it says it's a number with consecutive digits in ascending order. We have 6 for sure already. That means we must have 7 and 8. And then, if you look at E across, it's a number divisible by 11. We know this right here is 8 already. In order to have a multiple of 11, we must have 88. Cool. Now we are almost done. Hmm, let's see. Let's take a look at B down. It says, B down is going to be a number where the product of the lesser value two digits is equal to the largest digit. So that means we have 8 right here already, and that's the biggest possible digits that we can have in column B right here. This is 4, so that means we must have a 2 right here, because 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Cool. Now, finally, we just have to make sure that we fill in this right here. And it's a prime number greater than 10. So we have some possibilities, right? We can have 21, it's not prime. 23, 25, it's not prime. 27, it's not prime. 29, it's a prime. So it is 3 or 9. Hmm. Well, here is the deal. It would be a 3. Because we are looking at this right here, a number not divisible by 3. Sorry, a number not divisible by 9. D across, we have 7, 2 already. If I put a 9 here, then 7, 2, 9 is divisible by 9 because divided by 9, you get 81. So therefore, the answer right here must be equal to 3. And I will do it. That's it.